<sighs> Hello and welcome to Driving Lessons of BS. This week I'm going to go... This week I'm going to go... <laughs> this week I'm looking at road markings. So I'll start with road markings that go across the carriageway. Carriageway meaning road. First there's the general stop line. It's quite a thin, solid white line, which means you can't just go straight over. You have to check left and right, see if anything's coming, and then cross the line. You'll often find these at traffic lights. Now, similar to the basic stop line, there's also a stop line that you can find that will also be accompanied normally by a sign and by the letters stop. Um, this line is a bit wider, and this basically means you have to come to a full stop. You have to actually stop your engine I don't know what <laughs> you don't have to turn your engine off but you have to come to a complete stop if this is at a junction you need to sort of look left and right make sure the road's clear before you cross the line so this is a stop line for pedestrians at a level crossing obviously this is for the pedestrians not for the cars so remember that so these lines mean give way to traffic on a major road this one is give way to traffic at the right and the roundabouts and this is the same thing before mini roundabout. Now also in the centre of the road you're going to get a centre line. This is the kind of dashed line you see and it's just to separate um, your side of the road with the other side of the road which you can't go on unless you're overtaking. Similar to the centre line is the lane line. Lane lines however have bigger gaps between the dashes. Now a lane line is when there are separate lanes on the roads so you can you can enter these lanes as you wish. However, obviously the centre line means that you can only drive on the left hand side of the road. Now there are a lot of times where the lines in the centre of the road could become double and in this case if there's a solid white line nearest to you it means that you cannot overtake or cross it. If there was a double white line and the nearest line to you is um, not continuous like this, that means you can overtake. If there is a road that's marked with double white lines, even if they're continuous or solid, you are not allowed to park at all, it is illegal to park. You can however stop if you're picking up a passenger or unloading goods. Or loading goods, if you prefer. So now I'm on to signs that are at the edge of the roads and they generally mean no waiting or um, waiting restrictions. So. Double yellow line, you've probably seen before, obviously. Double yellow lines mean no waiting at any time. There are some exceptions, but they're all kind of like fiddly exceptions. If you now, one yellow line means no parking at any time, which means you can technically stop and pick up passengers or unload or um, load goods, but you're not allowed to park there for an extended period of time. And Sometimes you'll see these accompanied by a sign which, which these are the times which you're lot, not allowed to park in. So in some areas of cities you can also get red routes and these are where you get two red lines inside the road. This means no stopping at any time. You can't stop, pick up passengers or anything like that. No stopping at any given time. So you can also get these zigzag lines where schools, hospitals, fire engines, um, police stations, that kind of thing. They'll, they'll normally be accompanied by a sign and these mean you can't park on this area during the times given on the sign. Okay, you can also get these white boxes and this means during the times on the sign you are allowed to park but only within the time limit it gives and only with, between the times it also specifies. So this upside down triangle, this means give way. It means you'll be coming up to a junction and the junction you're coming up to, the people already on the road, the major road or wherever you're joining, um, have priority over you, so you've got to kind of stop and let them go past before you join the road or pass over. Sometimes when you're coming up to a junction as well, there's a hazard warning line. I say sometimes, I think it's all the time. And this is the, it's the centre line, but as you're getting closer to a hazard, the white lines become much longer. So that's, that's the way to know. If, if the line's getting longer, um, you're approaching a hazard, such as a junction, or a bend in the road sometimes as well. If you see one of these keep clear boxes, it just simply means don't um, stop here. So, for example, if you find one of these on a road that you're heading down 
and maybe there's some traffic. You just have to make sure you don't wait in these areas, like keep it clear. As it says, um, this is just to reduce traffic and let other cars through. You tend to find them on other like junctions that are joining the road. So this obviously means a bus lane. You're just not allowed to enter a bus lane at all if you're driving a car. So just don't do it. Don't do it. This also means parking space reserved for doctors or it might say other jobs. Um, so obviously if you're not a doctor, don't park in it. If you are a doctor, park in it. What am I doing? What am I doing with my hands? So this grid is a box junction and there's quite a few rules about box junctions and stuff. The main thing to know about box junctions are um, you can't stop in them. You can't stop, obviously you can't park because you'll be in the middle of the road. Um, but yeah, you can't stop either. So you can only enter a box junction if you know you're going to be able to pass through it onto the other side um, without stopping at all. So if there's a crossroad and there's a box junction, it just means you have to wait outside the box junction before you know you can get out of it. Does that make any sense? I think it made some sense. So you also get these arrows when you're coming up to like roundabouts or sometimes like just when there's several lanes. And um, these just tell you which lane you're supposed to be in to get where. So um, if there's a lane with this arrow pointing to the left, it means you can only go left there. If there's an arrow going forward and left in the same lane, then that means you can go forward or left in that lane. They also might have place names on them to tell you like, if it says York this way, that's the way you want to go for York. It's really quite obvious. <laughs> you also get cycle lanes, cycle lanes, of course, and you can also not enter these if you're in a car. If you're on a bike, you can. Although if you're on a bike, you also can't go in a bus lane. So, um, clues in the name, really. Although they don't say car lane, do they? That's weird. So that's all for this week's Lessons of BS video. Thank you for watching, I hope this was useful. And in a minute you'll be able to see uh, links to different videos you might be able to find helpful as well. Thank you for watching. We're not gonna stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!